Hey guys, Philly Pipe Smoker here. In an effort to uh, finish my bourbon, premium bourbon collection video, I found some additional um, bourbons which I think should be mentioned. Um, one of the ones that are more easily available for us here is Booker's. And you can see it's 127.3 proof. Again, uh, a weeded uh, bourbon, uh, more so than rye, heavily weeded. And uh, something that's, that's actually very enjoyable because of the strength. As is, and we talked about this in my last video, the cask strength uh, makers. This particular one is 111 proof, a little bit less than the other one. But you can see it's a full-size bottle, so it's more readily available now. Something that was given to me just recently as a gift is this. It's called Blood Oath. And if you look it up online, it's a mixture of three bourbons. And uh, uh, kind of like what they do with a private bottling in, Scot in Scotland for scotch, or an independent bottling. Uh, this is done uh, by, bur by buying three bourbons from three different distilleries and mixing them in a, a particular uh, uh, batch. And i got to tell you, <clears throat> there's a lot of information online that says, oh, you know, we think it's this, this, and this. I, I think for sure I can taste Jim Beam in, in this, but uh, other than that, I really can't tell you. But it's kind of a unique uh, combination because it's sweet and spicy combined. So it's got kind of like the best of both uh, worlds. Last year, <clears throat> I showed you a bottle of Pappy 10 before. It's in, a, in an old, uh, cheaper bottle. This is, this is what, the way they package it now, and they can charge uh, a couple hundred dollars for it. So, All right, and then we go to three weeded bourbons, all in the same family, uh, Jefferson's Rye. I'm sorry, Jefferson's Bourbon. And then, I'm sorry, my puppy's pulling off my wife's scarf. Piper. 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 Hi, honey. Thought I'd show you her. She's getting big. So this is Jefferson's, <clears throat> and uh, this is a weeded bourbon. Uh, we have the what they call just standard Jefferson's, 82 uh, proof. Then we have the Jefferson's very old, also 80. I'm sorry, this is 90 proof. A little bit darker in color, a little bit aged a little bit longer in the barrel. And then we have... The Jefferson 17 year old. Uh, also, this is 94 proof, so it's even a little bit more than the other. And um, three, three very good bourbons. These two are very readily available in our local state stores. We have state stores here in Pennsylvania. Um, I took this on a trip recently and opened it up. But, but they have a, a fourth in the line, and it's where they take a, a barrel and they put it on a ship, barrels, put it on a ship, and they, and they sail around the world. And it's supposed to dramatically change the, the taste because of the influences of the salt and different climates and whatever. So uh, I will be picking up one of those if I ever do find it. It's terribly expensive, so uh, I may have to save up for it. But So there you go, guys. There's a little bit more of my bourbon collection.